Hello, today I'm going to be showing you an application that allows you to transfer music or videos off your iPhone, iPod, and iPod Touch onto your Mac computer for free. This application is called Pod to Mac. If you Google this and you go to their home site, you'll notice that the current build is a paid version. But since this is a free tutorial, I'm going to give you a link to uh, a previous build that has the same functionality and is free to download. The link is in the description box down below if you're watching this video on YouTube or at the top of the page if you're watching this on a website. Now, once you have downloaded and installed pod to mac and run it, you'll get a screen similar to this one. My device is plugged in, so as you can see, it tells me my iPod name is iPhone, and this doesn't really change, so iPhone and iPod will all register like this. And as you can see, we have playlists on the left-hand corner. The iPhone playlist is just all the media that's on your device. It's not really a playlist that's on your device. These two are actual playlists on the devices, but as you can see, they're empty, so the register has nothing. You can play songs in the GUI just like you would in iTunes. You can just select it and hit play. You can also search for songs by typing in anything, really. I'll just type in Eminem. And as you can see, all the songs by Eminem show up. And now, to transfer them. If you select the automatic transfer, all the songs on the device will automatically get sent to iTunes. You don't have to copy them over. They'll just do it automatically for you. You'll select them all. If you don't want to send them all to iTunes, you can select them and send them individually to iTunes using transfer to iTunes. And this automatically puts them in your library. If you want to just make a backup copy and not really send them anywhere, you can just do transfer to desktop. This will create a folder on your desktop with subfolders of each artist and the songs. You can use the select all method to select all the songs, obviously, and you can also use a command click to select individual ones or shift click between the stop. I mean, sorry, the start and ending song to select a, a wide range. You can also modify the settings by clicking the little toggle right here. This is the preference pane, and as you can see, you can change the target directory for the automatic transfers and the file format. You can also um, hide tracks already in iTunes, so if I check this, uh, let me just close this, you can see these two songs are not in my iTunes, so it'll give me the option to transfer them over. That's what the star means. The star means that they are new. I'll check that. And do not copy. Only make reference. It's automatically selected. You can unselect that if you like. But it's just showing you that, or just telling you that if you transfer the song over, it's automatic transfer. But you already have it. It won't actually copy the file. Just make a reference to it. And then once uh, your iPod is disconnected, or your iPhone, that um, that item will not play anymore. But I would just select high tracks to prevent any of those problems. Well, I hope this tutorial helped you all, and uh, if you want any more like it, please visit broodimagination.com. Thanks for watching.